I'm sorry for the acoustics in this bathroom, but it'll get better as soon as I get out of here. I haven't flown in like two and a half to three weeks. It's been a long time. I was like trying to pick up trips. And then every time I was like, I'm gonna pick up a trip today, something would come up, especially with us buying this house and stuff, just all the paperwork and getting everything together. I backed up all of my trips to the, like the last two weeks of the month. So I'm gonna be flying a ton now during the holiday season. I don't know if that was uh, really dumb of me, we're just gonna find out <laughs> um, as we go along. But anyways, I'm doing my skincare makeup now, and then I figure I wanna wear one of these. Aren't these so cute? I actually got them at Target. I just don't know which ones I wanna wear yet. Since I'm not gonna be sleeping in a crew bunk, I feel like this is like the perfect opportunity. So which ones do you like more? Do you like these ones more, or do you like the coffee pot with the donut? I've also been asked a lot about the necklace, the like the little airplane necklace I've been wearing this one as well so this is the Eiffel Tower and these are from Nomad Lang. they come in their little boxes and then I have the Eiffel Tower I have that little airplane you guys have been loving and then I also have this one I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell with the Empire State Building I bought one originally of that little airplane from Etsy but it like rusted and got gross like really really quickly where these are so much better quality they're a little bit pricier obviously than the one I got on Etsy but way better quality last a lot longer but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and start getting ready and then we will get our stuff together and head to the airport <laughs> I tried to put these in, but I can't find the back of one of my ear holes because I never wear earrings and I don't have time to play around with them. So next time we're gonna wear these, but today, no earrings. Look who's driving me today. <laughs> I am getting um, princess parking because we're gonna go ahead and give Chip's cousin who's in town my truck just in case he needs any errands to run or wants something to do since we're both gonna be working. It's also gonna be his very first Thanksgiving. So I'm super excited to see how he finds all the food. I just fair warned him, I'm like, pace yourself because like my parents are divorced so we've got multiple events to go to so I was like just slow and steady wins the race and Chip said no. all in. <laughs> Alright we just got here so I forgot to tell you guys I'm gonna be position four so that's like the the princess position is kind of what they call it it's like the the extra you work main cabin position. Yeah I'm done feeling blue Okay, so I just got to my gate, but we're here super, super early. Right now it's only 9.02, and actually my sign-in's not until 9.42. So definitely didn't do the math on that one correctly, but I went over to Friday's and picked up a salad for lunch because I ran out of factor meals and I didn't meal prep anything. So on this trip, we're just gonna have to get food where we can get food, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking <laughs> there's 40 minutes. So I think I might actually go over to Starbucks. So this is like my absolute favorite way to order you just go down to the order button and that way you don't have to wait in line and we are in terminal A so we're gonna pick the gate A20 and then order here and it even has like previous orders and stuff so I think I'm gonna get a tea again and we are all done so our pickup time is in about nine minutes so I guess let's go start walking over there go down to where the sidewalk is with some friends Cause I'm down feeling blue Down feeling blue We just got on the last plane. We're gonna work our last flight from Dallas up to Memphis. You guys, I'm exhausted. This has been such a long day. I kind of want some coffee. I was kind of hungry, but then I was like, ah, oh, we'll just figure it out once we get to Memphis. So for now, I'm gonna put my stuff up, check all of the equipment, and I think we're gonna board in like 15 minutes. Made 
it. Welcome to Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I've never stayed here. This hotel is cool. I kind of like this. It's very, very different, which I'll flip you around and show you. But really fast, um, while we were checking in downstairs, I just quickly found a food restaurant that was still open and ordered stuff because it's getting pretty late. Like right now, it's already 9.23 very slowly it'll finally show you so to start off don't mind my luggage we have a mirror over here with some hooks and then a wardrobe i'm not sure what's this is this the ironing board oh it is okay so we have a nice ironing board there's a robe and a place to hang up our uniform and then when you come behind look at this bathroom you guys isn't this wallpaper funky i don't think i'd want it in my home but for a hotel that's pretty cool and then when you come on this side here's the shower and it has like a full walk in with a little herringbone tile and then you come around in a nice place i already started setting my luggage up oh my gosh the under under the bed just lit up as i walked over here that's cool so i have a nice little spot i see a little little coffee bar over here and then you know we have to play the game do we have a view Mm, no, I, I, I would say no. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my, my stuff all put away and get changed. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna plop myself uh, right here because I am pooped. This was a long old day. I think it was just like a little bit shy of a 12 hour duty day. So it was very, very long. But what I'm gonna be doing is I need to get on the trade boards and start moving some stuff around. I've already kind of like moved around part of my December schedule because schedules came out. Mine is okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was just somewhere in the middle, which I can gladly accept okay. Okay, we can deal with. Okay, we can, we can move around and that's fine which I've already done a lot of it. I've already done like most of the grunt work. So um, I feel confident that December is going to be a good flying month, but we're also gonna be moving in December. So I'm trying to keep that in mind with the trips I'm flying and be a little bit more strategic about when I'm flying, but, but we're working with it. You know what? I've heard some people got some really, really, really bad bids. So we weren't one of them. We were, we were somewhere in the middle and I'm, I'm good being average. Never mind. As soon as I said I was going to get on the trade boards, the food showed up. So I just went to pick it up. I'm going to bring it on the table. That way I can show you what I got. So let's see. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is, oh, this is heavy. Oh my gosh, that's so much food. This has like some weight to it. I also ordered a taco. I didn't realize these were gonna be like so big and so much food. Wow. Ooh, that taco looks so good. Oh my goodness. And I guess it comes also with chips and this must be the salsa I'm smelling. Ooh, yummy. I got my laptop to do some bidding. I got this thing just for a little like size, y'all. I got, I got a big head, I got a big head hair full of wisdom. That thing is massive. One thing I love about Memphis, I can cook barbecue, everything. Okay, I'm gonna eat a little bit of this and get some trading done before the trade board closes because I feel like the trade board cl will close before I even put a dent in this thing. Mm. I am tired. Oh, you guys. So I've been up for like 10 minutes and I was just kind of like looking on my phone to see if there's like any coffee shops around. And it looks like there's quite a few all within like a half mile. So maybe we'll just like pick the best one and go get some coffee. But it was so weird, you guys. I like woke up in the middle of the night and I thought I was in my own house. This bed kind of feels like my own bed. And I was just like, I woke up and I was like, wait a minute. But anyways, um, yeah, I figured that's kind of the plan. <laughs> We need to get up and like actually start making a day of this or I'm gonna spend the day just like this. No complaints, but also no coffee. So that's not going to happen. We're gonna get up on the count of three. One, two, three. There we go. My hair literally just like tells like the state of my existence right now. It's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> 
So I'm kind of debating, um, normally when I come to like a city, I like to find like a local coffee shop and drink somewhere that's more local and try something new. But on the other hand, I was also thinking about going to Starbucks solely because I know they have Wi-Fi, like free Wi-Fi there. And I really need to edit some videos and get some work done. I don't know, options, like what do we do? So there's been a change of plans, but I want to share this jacket with you guys really quick. I got this on Amazon and I've been meaning to show you because I think it's like my new favorite jacket. I love it so much. It kind of has like that quilted aesthetic. It has a tie so it like cinches you in or you can just completely undo it. And this is kind of how I wear it most of the time. It's just like this relaxed or you can tie it however you want. And then it also has a detachable hood that you can either have, so it helps with rain. Sorry, I have like so much hair going on. So it helps with rain, or if you don't like the hood, you can just like detach it. It just holds on like by a button right here. I just wanted to share it with you. I'll link it down below in case anybody else was interested, because I just think it's like so cute. And I do think there were other colors than this one. I'm almost positive there were other colors in this one, but this is the color that I love, but anyways, okay, so what's gonna be happening? So I reached out to Holly to just like let her know I was up, probably gonna go to a coffee shop, and she's like, oh, okay, I'm so down to go to a coffee shop. So um, I think she's gonna come with me, so that basically means I'm probably not gonna bring my laptop and work. I brought my camera tripod also that I shared with you guys in my last Amazon video as well, so I might be using this, get some Instagram reels done. And then I brought my little puffer, so I got this at H&M, and I still love this. I feel like this is just like such the cute, like, like winter bag but I, I actually love it with this outfit also we're just going full full puff today so after recording a couple of Instagram reels I met up with Holly downstairs and we looked up on our phone a local coffee shop this was the one that had the best ratings and neither of us were disappointed as soon as you walk in it just has this really really cool vibe and feel to it everybody there was so nice it kind of reminded me of like Memphis meets French meets industrial with all the open piping not to mention the coffee was also amazing and then we decided to walk over to the Peabody Hotel now they do something really Really, really cool called like a duck walk so twice a day the ducks come down and you can watch them we missed the walk but we got to see them in the pond and they're so cute and after that we just walked around memphis until all of a sudden we stumbled into the rock and soul museum now i've heard a lot about the new memphis civil rights museum and how amazing it is but i haven't heard much about this museum so we didn't really know what we were getting into now they give you a headset and a device that you can plug in the number and do a guided tour or just walk around yourself and it is so cool you can see so much history that memphis has gone through with their music you can see different outfits and stuff from different famous musicians that really got their start in memphis they even go through some of the civil rights stuff that happened around memphis and then we continued walking around until we stumbled into this place called the majestic now this i guess used to be an old theater that has been redone into a restaurant and it is cool Okay, so I've got to make it a little bit quick because there's music playing, but we are in a place called The Majestic right now, and this actually used to be like a movie theater. You can see like all the, the awnings of where people used to sit, and even like back behind me, tucked over here, there's a big screen where they're playing a movie, so it's really, really cool. But we just ordered, I ordered Cajun chicken egg rolls, which the waitress says are phenomenal, handmade and rolled, which they're doing right now in the kitchen. But I'm gonna let you go because of this music. Okay, and we are back in the room. I've already crawled into the bed. I made like a pillow headboard with like three of the pillows back here. This bed is so comfortable and Memphis is amazing. As always, every time I come to the city, it's just so fun to explore. There's so much to see and do like this. The city just has a ton of history to it, like a ton. It's just fabulous. Great music scene. But anyways, um, right now it is about to be two o'clock. So showtime is going to be at 425. So we've got a little bit of time. It's probably gonna take me like 30 minutes to an hour to get ready to do my hair and makeup Get my uniform on and get everything packed up The other thing is that we are gonna be doing two flights today, but one is a deadhead So we are gonna deadhead from Memphis to Charlotte and then we are gonna be working Charlotte to Dallas And if everything goes according to plan, then we are supposed to land in Dallas at 12 30, I believe. Maybe in Charlotte, if we have time, I'm gonna grab something light and then just try not to eat for the rest of the day because tomorrow we're gonna have two Thanksgivings to go to. So it should be a lot of fun. But anyways, I'm gonna get a little bit of work done and then I will catch back up with you guys when it's time to like start getting packed up and everything. <laughs> uh -huh. 
All right, looks like we are all packed up. We have just five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stuff and let's head downstairs and go to the airport. just ended the flight I'm trying to walk so hopefully I don't bounce the camera too much but we got struck by lightning on the way down it was fairly turbulent I wouldn't say it's the most turbulent I've ever been in but it was a loud bang and a flashing light and we got struck everybody was okay the pilots were already on it because we were seated with 55 zero minutes left so like we were all buckled and ready to go so everybody was okay I think a few people got a little little sick but you know as our job as a flight attendant is really just Keep everybody safe and keep everybody calm. Just tell them it's gonna be okay. Easy going. We're all gonna be okay. And we were, so we have landed. I am looking for the way out because it's late. So they only have one exit out. Chip is already waiting for me. So I will see you guys outside. Oh, you got to wait. Oh, hello, Dot. Oh, yes, a sweet boy. Hello, Dot. Hi, baby. Okay, bye. <laughs> 